Hello everybody, good evening and welcome to That's Football, it's a big one. It's Newcastle against Chelsea in the Premier League. I hope you're all ready for this because for me this is this is huge, it's absolutely huge. We've had a, a really interesting day in the Premier League already with Manchester City losing to Brentford, Spurs winning 4-3, leaving it late against Leeds and um, uh, look, some really interesting results but this Chelsea game at Newcastle, for Newcastle as well. It's huge for both sides. I, I really am intrigued to see how it's going to go. We will get into some of the headlines as well. Pratt Gate, Tony sat him down. Callum will Tony. But anyway, back to this game. Cross comes in from Chelsea. It should have been 1-0. Why didn't he make a leap for it? Loftus-Cheek surely had a chance to get on the end of that. Was he brave enough? I don't know. I don't think he was brave enough there, Loftus-Cheek. Loftus Cheek is a player that uh, Potter really likes, by the way. Don't know what you think. Don't know whether we've got any Chelsea fans in there. Not actually that impressed by him. I don't know what they've got on the bench, but uh, Potter is a new Southgate. Hate what he's done to this team, says MJ. I, I, I don't know what you're on about. I think you've started this game off really well. I just, I just don't, I don't get the Chelsea fans who don't like Potter, but it's dangerous. And what I would say, if you're a Chelsea fan who is, is level-headed, you need to drown these toxic people out. They're no good for your club. Same thing happened with Arsenal and Arteta. You need to drown these people out and stick with your manager because it's way too early to make your mind up. And I'm not a Chelsea fan, but I'm telling you now, I actually want Potter to do well. I loved what he did at Brighton. I loved the appointment at Chelsea. I think it was a very brave one to do and I hope it works out. I can't believe there are Chelsea fans wanting to get rid of a manager who's not had a transfer window and is having to try and figure things out in a very, in probably the most competitive top four race we've had for years. There's seven teams going for it. Check in and get involved. Uh, we'll have a lot of stuff going on for you. But uh, fairly equal game thus far. As you can see, um, possession is pretty much 50-50. Uh, um, Newcastle have had more shots, but Chelsea were the only shot on target. Um, yeah, they basically cancelled each other out, these teams. And Oh, now then. No. Newcastle want a handball here. I'm thinking it should be a handball. Let me have a look. Chalaba doesn't look too concerned. It's another controversial cross in. It's his hand. It's, it's... Nah. Nah, he's, he's got his hand there to support himself as he falls down. That's not a handball. You can't give that. Cross comes in from Trippier. It's not bad to the back post. Almiron, great save by Mendy. Comes to the edge of the box. Blocked by Bruno Guerreres. Bruno Guerreres. Bruno Gamerez, that was the chance for Newcastle. They worked it really well. Trippier put it up to the back post. Headed down. Good block. And over the bar now. It was uh, Matty or Sean Longstaff. That's Sean. Um, Matty's not there anymore. But this was lovely play by Newcastle. They finally got that going. Trippier, lovely cross to the back post. Um, and I think it was Matty Longstaff again, wasn't it? Who got the shot in there? Two blocks, anyway. Good defending by Chelsea, you've got to say that. We're doing on this channel. Ecuador against Qatar a week on Sunday. I just realised there's no... I'm doing Man United Fulham on the United stand tomorrow. So, yeah, next watch along is World Cup. Right, I'm going to count down from 51%. It's been stuck on this for a while. Martinez is on... And brilliant finishing, but... I think that there are people like Almiron. Goal for Newcastle! Almiron plays it off to Willock and that's the goal for Newcastle. It has been coming. I was just saying there, there are players like Almiron who are defying logic in this Newcastle side. Skips inside, lays it off to Willock and it's 1-0 Newcastle. Goal Newcastle. They lead 1-0 and I don't know whether there's a way back for Chelsea here. They just do not seem to have any cutting threats. It's been a very equal game, but you felt if Newcastle scored, they would win this game. And at the moment, they have got a firm hold on going back. Is it third in the Premier League and be third in the Premier League on Christmas Day? Opinion on Henderson in Sky's Team of the Year, says Smula. What? Jordan or Dean? Neither. 
Mark, I need your opinion. My bird will allow me to get some if I have your face on a shirt, but I can't get any if I don't have the shirts. Is why I get that's just weird. Lovely finish by Willock. Almiron was gonna shoot, lays it off. Willock hits it with a bit of curl. In fact, you know what? It's a very similar shot to the shot Conor Gallagher had a couple of minutes ago that Pope saved, but Mendy did not save this. And it's 1-0 to Newcastle with 23 minutes to go. Such a shame if it goes bad for Potter, though. Massive fan of his. He's got to be given time. He's, he's trying to build a team that was parking the bus. I mean, look, again, I think it's naivety from Chelsea fans who just don't know the style of football that Potter played. You've been a part of the bus boring side under Tuchel and he's now trying to get players that Tuchel bought to play a more expansive style of football. Dean was on sat Saturday's social team. What am I watching? I've seen, and now, and now my, my keeper's getting into fights. I've got, I've seen a clip of Cal the Dragon getting into a fight as well. God, the world's going mad. What's happening to the world at the moment? That's my keeper. I have to find his wages now. That's my YouTube All-Stars keeper getting into a fight. I say a fight. Um, it's more of a push and a shove. It's probably, you know what? I don't. I haven't got the audio on, but he's, uh, he's probably been wound up again. People need to leave the lad alone so far. How long till Chelsea owners fire Potter, says Drez. Look, you never know with Chelsea, but you've got, the, for me, Potter is a project manager. You've, you've got to look at Arteta. You've got to look at Klopp, more Arteta really, and go, look at what Arteta did at Chelsea, at Arsenal. And people will say, well, Arteta won an FA Cup. Yeah, but come on. You know, they also finished eighth twice, didn't they? The football was crap when they won the FA Cup. It was part of the bus. Um, you, cannot, you cannot sack Potter until you've given him the January. You've got to give him the chance to buy some players. You can't just give him two cows summer and say, well, you didn't do very well. Green now, that's live. They are third. If they win this game, they are third. They are two points off Manchester City. Yeah, they played a game more, but Newcastle third, they would be nine points ahead of Chelsea. They would be eight points ahead of Liverpool. They would be seven points ahead of Manchester United. And this league table is not going to change um, before Christmas. So, I mean, I think Newcastle, Newcastle to me are a contradiction. Um, Newcastle fans are loving it. Fair play. You've won the lottery, literally. Well done. But I speak to a lot of people about Newcastle and it's like, put respect on Newcastle's name. They're almost like people are treating them like they're Leicester. Oh, they're defying the odds. They're not defying the odds. They're the richest club in the world. And when they get top four, good night, they'll never leave again because the money will then get really spent. So Newcastle deserve loads and loads of praise. What, how I describe Newcastle is they're ahead of schedule. With the team they've got and the manager they've got, I don't really think they should be getting top four, but they bloody deserve it and they're playing.